I've seen it so often. People walk into this gallery and see this painting, North Shore Lake Superior, for the very first time, and they stop in their tracks and just stare. It's as if suddenly the everyday world has come to a standstill and a different world has opened up into that silence. And that's pretty much the effect Lauren Harris intended. Lauren Harris was a member of Canada's Group of Seven, the painters who left behind conventional landscape painting and created a startling new style to match the rugged beauty and spirit of the Canadian wilderness. Harris found his own inspiration in the dramatic yet sparse landscapes of Ontario's Lake Superior, especially its skies. He called them sublime and said they were found nowhere else in Canada. He spent seven years exploring and painting the country's rugged beauty. The composition is striking. Notice how Harris has reduced nature to a few boldly described shapes. He's removed all the irrelevant details, leaving only the landscape's bare bones. And by applying the paint smoothly and using a restricted color range, he gives the landscape and us breathing space. The focal point of the composition is the sculptural tree stump rising up from a low rocky outcrop in the foreground. Harris has painted a deep black seam running through it, maybe the result of lightning or the ravages of time. You can see how this dark seam contrasts sharply with the sun-bleached wood of the tree. Do you know why Harris has painted the seam on a diagonal? By doing this, he created the impression that the tree is straining towards the light on the left and he's reinforced this impression by adding the long root that reaches down in the bottom right, as well as the dark shadow projected by the tree. The group of seven shared a deep fascination with the Canadian landscape and a broadly similar style. But like any artist, each member of the group brought their own unique and individual perspective to their work. For Lauren Harris, his painting was an expression of deep spiritual beliefs. He had studied art in Germany and there was introduced to a mystical school of thought called Theosophy. The word literally means divine wisdom. From then on, his art, all art, became for him, as he said, a realm of life between our mundane, everyday world and the world of the spirit. It's that vision which gives North Shore Lake Superior its amazing power. The artist is pursuing an abstract reality far beyond the landscape he presents. Even the colors have symbolic meanings that come out of the artist's theosophical beliefs. Yellow is an earthly color. Blue expresses the desire for transcendence, while white represents unity and the light of the pure spirit. The tree stump becomes the embodiment of the human spirit standing between the light of the spirit and the darkness of the world. The sky itself echoes this duality. Do you see the looming dark clouds on the right and the piercing bright shafts of pure light on the left? This overall composition is a study in sharp contrasts, yet Harris manages to unify them in this work. This painting is literally a vision of a world outside normal, everyday reality, where the pure essence of the landscape is revealed and where humans can participate in the eternal cosmic motion. And isn't that the role of all great art? To stop us in our tracks, to make us look at the world with new eyes, a new understanding. Judging from that, North Shore Lake Superior is definitely great art.